Digital communications provided by Sprint PCS. Press pound 27 on your Sprint PCS phone to reach the 27 News First newsroom. A rather chilly start to our work week, but not a bad day. Not a bad day at all. I was going to say, Kathleen has a lot of torque going for her, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the I want to hear more about this. <laughs> <laughs> because I know Valeria's got a lot of torque. She yeah. does. You know, I'll tell you what. Uh, uh, it's just, you can't beat it. No, uh, you can't. Uh, give a woman a power tool, and, and there's nothing Let better than that. That's right. Let them torque away. Well, <laughs> let's get out of this and outdoors, and we'll show you what's going on in our Kentucky Utilities Weather Lab schools, where the temperatures are from the low to the mid-40s here in the metro region. Not bad, actually for this time of the year, uh, right around the normal, actually. Uh, all the way to 41 in Middlesbrough, 41 in Cynthiana, and uh, 43 down in Somerset. 38, cool spot over there in Prestonsburg. Right now in Lexington, clear skies, 41 degrees with 70% humidity, light northeasterly winds, and our pressure is steady at 30.34. Down into the 20s for lows tonight, as it should be. 30s in the western part of the state. Look at these 30s extending all the way down in through Texas. Not too awfully bad. Teens across the Rocky Mountains, up in through the uh, northern plains, and that's about where it should be this time of the year. And 50s down south in central and southern Florida. Might see a few 60s here and there down around Miami. But highs tomorrow will be in the 50s, a nice spread east to west. 40s up here where they should be, and 30s up north. Nice temperatures all across the country. We haven't had any really nasty weather to speak of at all the last several weeks. Jet stream still way up in here. It's going to start meandering down to the south here over the next probably five or six days, and we will see a little bit of a cool down, although not a whole heck of a lot. Nothing to speak of as far as east of the Rockies is concerned. No rain, no hits, no runs, no errors, whatever they say. A little bit of cloudiness up in Canada. Out here to our west, look at this. Boy, I'll tell you what, if you're flying somewhere this afternoon, you won't have to worry about weather delays at all, anywhere across the country, really. Look at this, just delightful weather. Out in Seattle, a little bit of a shower here and there, but nothing to speak of. Now, Here's what we're sitting under, a high-pressure system right overhead, and that's going to be with us for the next several days. All this week, delightful weather. Lots of sunshine, a few little clouds here and there. We expect no precipitation at all. We do have a frontal system that's kind of pushing down this way. By tomorrow, it should be just about over here, but all we're going to see out of this is just a little wind shift. We've seen this happen over the last several days. does not look like there's enough precipitation associated with this to cause us any rain at all. So, tonight, becoming partly cloudy overnight. 28 for the low... And then tomorrow, going all the way to 52 degrees. Look at this. Can you believe this? And the extended forecast, dry all the way through Saturday. 52 again on Saturday. The coolest day will be Friday with a high of 45. But big deal, that's normal. So The week before Christmas, you, you can't complain with that. Uh -uh. I can't get in the mood for some particular reason. I don't know why. It's just I, I need snow. I need 10 degrees above zero. I don't. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Brian. <laughs> well, the Blades use one of their fiercest rivals to help spread the holiday spirit. That's next on News. First. And the basketball cats in her exam week having already passed one of their biggest tests of the season.